is Carol, and I'm a Christmas-aholic. It's true, I am guilty as charged, but I want to tell you, one of the things that I love most about the season has nothing to do with reindeer that dance, or men who ride in sleighs, or snowmen that melt. No, my love for the Christmas season goes so much deeper than any of those things could ever take me. I think one of the reasons I love Christmas so much is because my love language really is giving of gifts. I love giving gifts to my friends and my family and the postman and the girl who does my nails. I love it all. But this is one thing that the Lord has showed me about my propensity for giving gifts at Christmas time. He has showed me that even though I've spent thousands of dollars over the years on giving gifts, I haven't spent nearly enough. Because although I've spent a lot in an earthly economic sense, I have spent very little spiritually or emotionally. The Lord has shown me that I have found it much too easy to merely go park my car with a maddening crowd, to push my way into stores, to whip out my credit card. The Lord has showed me that that has cost me far too little. That really at Christmas time, what we learn to do is give the way God gives. And I think about some of the characters in the Christmas story. I think about the young Mary, how she gave birth to a child. What did that cost Mary? I think about Joseph who gave up his reputation, who gave up his right to the girl of his dreams in order to attach himself to the plan of God. I think about shepherds who gave worship that they had never before given. And of course I think about the wise men who gave gold and frankincense and myrrh. But at their moment in history, they gave what they couldn't afford to give in order to attach their lives to the plan and to the purposes of God. And so God has challenged me this year to give what I cannot afford to give. He has challenged me to forgive that person who wronged me years ago. He has challenged me to be cheerful rather than grumpy. He has challenged me to spend time with people whom I would deem difficult. What is the Lord asking you to give this holiday season? See, we all have a moment in history just like Mary and Joseph and the shepherds did. And it's up to us at our moment in history to attach our lives to the Christmas story and to learn the way God the Father gave that Christmas season. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My prayer for you this Christmas is that you would learn how to give like God gave, and that at your moment in history, that you would deliver the gift of Jesus to a broken and hurting world. Merry Christmas.